you. Uh, it is time for the kid's story. We're talking about another uh, super famous person in the Bible, uh, though he's not usually recognized by this name over here. Oh, I'm skipping ahead. Um, we are talking about a man named Abram. All right. Uh, now, kids, in the Bible, there's something that, that's really interesting. And there's some cultures, even today, some countries that still do this. Uh, and what it is, is that when you're born, your parents give you a name, right? Uh, and it could be anything. Uh, there's a lot of different options. And this man, when he was born, he was given the name Abram. However, as the person grows up and as as God speaks to that person and, and really creates something special for that person, God gives them a new name. God changes their name. We have a few examples of this in the Bible. One of the most famous ones is someone named Simon. Uh, and Simon, after meeting Jesus, Jesus changed his name to Peter. We also have Saul, which became Paul, uh, and a few other ones. And Abram is one of these men all right now the story of abram is very long and there's a lot of different stories uh so i'm just going to do a little little part of his story and then use other people in his life uh to continue his story all right the most probably one of the most important things uh or parts of his life is this right here genesis chapter 12 in the lesson with the adults we've been studying about this uh for quite a while here the the covenants and it's a promise that god did to this man named abram all right so let me read here uh the promise that god gave to abram all right genesis chapter 12 verses 1 to 3 now the lord said to abram get out of your country far from your from your family and from your father's house to a land that I will show you. I will make you a great nation. I will bless you and make your name great. And you shall be a blessing. I will bless those that bless you and I will curse him who curses you. And in you, all the families of the earth will be blessed. Now, what's interesting here is that Abram wasn't special, he was just a regular person he was just one person on this big planet who lived in a regular town uh, but one day god saw him went to him and said i'm gonna give you a promise now why this is important kids is because god does the exact same thing with us god looks at you finds you and says i want to make you a promise uh, and that promise is through Jesus. In fact, when it says that in, in you, all the families of the earth will be blessed, it's because Jesus would come from the family of Abraham. Uh, and that's the big promise. In fact, the promise that he gave to Abraham is kind of our promise as well. God wants us to take, he wants to take us away from a sinful planet, from a sinful home, and he wants to take us to a brand new home, uh, one that is perfect. And that's one we've been talking about, right? The place is heaven. Um, and that's the story of Abraham. At least that's the beginning of the story of Abraham. But just as I mentioned at the beginning, when God met with Abraham, he took just a normal person and he made him extra special. Uh, and when God does that, he changes your name. And that's what we find here in Genesis chapter 17. Verse 5 says this, No longer shall your name be called Abram, but your name shall be Abraham. And that's probably how you know his name, right? Abraham, for I have made you a father of many nations. And the promise that God gave to Abraham is exactly what happened. Abraham became the father of many nations. So for us today, kids, I know sometimes 
you might think, oh, I'm nothing special. Oh, I'm just a little boy or, you know, there's nothing special about me. But that's not right. Every single person is special. Uh, all you need to do is meet Jesus. The second you meet Jesus, you're going to become special. And in fact, the Bible promises us in Revelation that every single one of us is going to have a special name, a new name. And what that means is that every single one of us is going to be special, all right? So all of you guys are special. All you need to do, this is the, the homework for this week, is to find Jesus and to have that moment with Jesus. And Jesus will make sure he'll give you a promise and he'll make sure that you're the most special person on this planet. All right. So let's pray. Let's pray that all of us can meet Jesus this week uh, and receive our new name. Now, we probably won't know what that name is until Jesus comes back. But if we meet Jesus this week, we'll already have that name. All right. So let's pray. God, thank you, Lord, just for being here with us, being with all of these kids. Lord, this week, help them to have a special moment in their week, Lord, where they can really know for sure that they have been with you, Lord. We know that you already have a special name for them, all ready to give them, God. And I just pray, Lord, that you let every single child and adult know that they are very, very special in your eyes and that every single one of us will get a new name in heaven. So thank you, Lord, for that. Thank you for the story of Abraham that we're going to learn more and more about in the next couple of weeks. Um, and just be with us, be with all the kids here today. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, next week, we're going to talk about another special person connected to Abraham uh, who also had their name changed. It's Sarai, who became Sarah. All right, so we're going to learn about Abraham's wife and what makes her special in the story in the Bible, all right? So that is next week. I'm going to have to record it because I'm not going to be around. I'm going to be up north. Let me stop this and stop recording.